Hey guys, it's Ray. So I just wanted to share this scissors case because I have these pretty sharp scissors are just like detailed scissors really pointy and sharp so for this i'm going to be using some foamy paper and first i'm going to be wrapping that foamy paper around just to figure out how much i need of this foamy paper then i'm going to mark it then marking a line with my ruler my pencil and then just cutting that i'm going to be gluing this whole thing using my super glue just wrapping it and just gluing it as i go once i'm done i'm going to be cutting the excess i'm going to be using this like spray thing that i got from that i need the cap thing just because I want this to be round or have like round edges and so I'm just going to measure or just feel where my like scissors end and then go with my cap and then mark that round end. Cutting the excess of that, glue that with my super glue again just from the inside and then just cut once it's glued. Feel free to cut and glue after if you want. Then I'm going to be using another piece of foamy paper to make the closure. Marking how white I need it to be, use my ruler and my scissors again to cut that. I'm going to be gluing that to the back of this case just like so i left a bit of like space in between the top corner where i glue the whole thing just because i feel like it looks better like this for my closure i'm just going to be placing my scissors in measure how long i need it to be and then just with my cap i'm going to be making that part around as well pretty much doing the same thing that i did before i'll be using some velcro to close this i'm going to be cutting two parts my velcro has a sticky part so i'm just going to be using that what i'll do just to make sure that both my velcros end up like in the same spot i'm going to be placing first one Part of my velcro placing my scissors back in removing the stick part of the other part of the velcro then just placing that just so that it stays in place i'm going to be closing that until it lands where it's going to be then i'm going to be pushing those parts and that's it for the body of this now i'm going to be decorating this mixing some khaki with some white acrylic paint i just want to create enough white ish kind of shade i'm going to be painting this on like the front part like this i painted the closure thing from like the inside as well then i'm going to be using some black acrylic paint and just paint everything else that is like in the case area now this is what it looks like so far i'm going to be adding some like details attempting to draw some tiny scissors with my sharpie first i'm going to start with the necks then two like circles like scissors have on top and then just go from there i went back and forth and just fixed a couple of things here and there i did use my dotting tool that i do have the diy on this one to work on like some details that i want to be too far with my sharpie finally i'm going to be adding a bunch of polka dots in my white part i'm adding black dots and in my black part i'm adding some white dots feel free to paint it in any color or just uh, choose a different design if you want i just wanted to go for polka dots because i love that pattern this is the idea that i want to share with you i really like it i think it's so much fun to look at it's really easy to make but yeah i, I really hope you like it too and i really hope this was helpful and if you like this don't forget to give this a thumbs up i share a bit of everything here like this diys crafts accessories some nail care desserts reviews affordable home decor phone case diys subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye